Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog ourearlyhouse.com and in this video I'm going to be doing a winter cook with me. During the winter months I like to make a lot of soups and stews and roasts and just all those cozy comforting winter foods with lots of broth. And so I just kind of took the camera around with me for a week and just showed you the different meals that I was making just to give you some new meal inspiration. Now some of these recipes I do have on our second blog, the castironskilletcooking.com. So I'll have those linked down in the description box for you in case you want to make any of these different recipes. During the winter months, I try to use a lot of homemade bone broth in my recipes. One, it's just so comforting and cozy to have a nice warm bowl of soup. And because bone broth is loaded with so much nutrition, I find that it's a great way to keep my family healthy during the colder season. I like to make my bone broth in my Instapot. It's just an easy way to make it and it's a little bit faster than doing it on the stove top. I have a full recipe and video tutorial on my YouTube channel that I'll link below. The first meal that I'm sharing and one that I make a lot during the winter months is just a classic potato soup. Potato soup is a great way to use up some of that bone broth. I just start off by dicing up some potatoes and onions. Once the potato and onions are diced up and in my big pot, I add in a couple cloves of minced garlic just to add some flavor. Next I'll add in some salt and pepper and then the homemade bone broth. While the bone broth is simmering on the stove, I will fry up some bacon to top the soup with. Once the potatoes are soft, I remove the pot from the stove and I like to use my immersion blender just to blend up some of the potatoes to make the soup really nice and creamy. I top the soup with some bacon, some green onions, a little bit of shredded cheese, and some sour cream. The next meal I'm gonna share with you is a pot roast. I love making pot roast during the winter time in my Dutch oven. I start off by patting the pot roast dry with a paper towel and seasoning it with some salt and pepper and thyme. And then I like to sear it on all four sides just to really lock in the flavor of the meat. After I remove the roast from the Dutch oven, I will slice up some onions to saute. Once the onions were sauteed, I added in some tomato paste, some spices, a little bit of coconut sugar, some water, and red wine vinegar.
this makes the delicious sauce that the roast is going to be slow cooking in for a few hours. While the roast is baking, I peeled and sliced up some carrots and potatoes. After the roast baked for about an hour, I added in my vegetables and then I cooked it for an additional hour or just until your roast is cooked through and your vegetables are soft. Pot roast is a perfect meal to serve during the winter time and one that's on our menu almost weekly. This recipe is on our cast iron skillet cooking blog and I will link that down below for you. The next recipe I'm sharing is a turkey pot pie. I had a lot of turkey left over from Thanksgiving and I had it in the freezer and so I pulled it out to make a turkey pot pie. After dicing the onions, I just melted some butter in my cast iron skillet and sauteed my onions. I added in some minced garlic and continued to saute for another minute or so. I added in some bone broth and a little bit of flour to make a nice gravy for my pot pie. I then added in some mixed vegetables and the diced turkey. Once the filling was done, I made some homemade biscuits to top the pot pie with. I baked it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until the biscuits are golden brown. This recipe is also on our blog and so I will link it down in the description box for you. Another soup that I like to make during the winter time is a white chicken chili. I make my white beans straight in my Instapot. It only takes about 20 minutes. And instead of using water, I use bone broth just to make the beans more nutritious. After the beans were done cooking, I diced up some chicken and added them into the Instapot. I then diced up some onions and carrots to add into the soup as well. I added in about a cup of frozen corn, some spices, and then covered everything with some bone broth, and then about a cup of cream just to make this really nice and creamy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you a lot of new meal ideas. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I get out a new video every single week.